Alright guys, I'm here and I'm going to show you guys how to mount a socket to a weed eater motor to use it as a spindle for a motorized bike. Friction driven obviously. Um, this is a 3 4 inch long socket. You just got to make sure that will go over your crankshaft. And uh, the reason for not using a peg is because it won't sit flush in between the two pull starter springs. So take a washer and drop it down in there. Yeah, make sure it sits flat. Take your nut, drop it down in there. And then take your hand. And you just gotta twist it to get it started pretty much. Um, bring your stock nut that comes on the end of the um, crankshaft. Hang on, I'll get back to that. I don't know where the stock one is. But bring it to the home, uh, your hardware store to determine what uh, kind of nut you need. This is a fine threaded one. So, you're going to stick a screwdriver in it, take a socket, and first you're going to you want it to get on there nice and snug and sit flush. I got the idea of using a socket actually when I was building the bike, so that's snug. You can see it'll turn the flywheel. So make sure you get the engine rotation right when you're mounting the motor so you don't mount it wrong and have to remount it. I've done that before. Stick a screwdriver in the flywheel. It's best if you get it all the way across to, or on these ends because this is a more beefier part so you're not going to be breaking fins off. Just tighten it on there. That's just about the greatest I've ever mounted a spindle and it's got no play in it. So there you guys go. A socket costs seven bucks hardware and a $5 motor.